Well, Pottawatomie County Supervisor says he will not resign after his arrest for drunk driving. Jeff Jorgensen faced calls for his resignation at this morning's public meeting. KETV Newswatch 7's Aaron Hagerty is live in Council Bluffs with how Jorgensen is responding. Aaron? Yeah, uh, um, at 10 last night, uh, we broke this story and, and Jorgensen talked with us on by phone. And today after the public, public meeting, he talked with me for more than 15 minutes. After sitting and listening to three calls for his resignation, he said he will seek help but not resign. He says he was grieving on Saturday because next month marks one year since his wife died. He told KETV he traveled to Fort Dodge on Saturday for a Republican Party event. He said on the way back he stopped at places that reminded him of memories with his wife and from college and drank. If my wife was alive, this would never have happened. You know, never have happened. Um, and as I look at it now, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing those things. I'll, 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 uh, I, I get through whatever counseling I need to get through, whatever treatments I need to get through, get my life back. Again, it'll never happen again. And I'll be certainly more cognizant of, of the situations I'm in. Uh, I probably won't be drinking alcohol for a very, very, very long time, if ever. And Jorgensen even showed us the damage to his truck. He admitted to hitting a vehicle parked on the shoulder of I-80 westbound in Council Bluffs. The criminal complaints show his blood alcohol level was double the legal limit. Now, three other board members declined on-camera interviews, and the chair a woman said that it's a legal matter. Tonight at 6, I'll have more on what the folks calling for his resignation had to say. Back to you.